we've got a, uh, a problem here involving a triangle and a rectangle. Okay, and they're saying that ABDE is a rectangle in which AB is 2BD. So if BD is X, AB is 2X. Okay, that's essentially all that's saying. Um, BCD is a triangle in which the angle BCD is 120, yeah. BC is X minus 3, CD is X minus 2. The area of the rectangle ABD is S. All right, show that S can be expressed in the form of um, AX squared plus BX plus C. Now, if we're going to find the area of a rectangle, we need the length and width, don't we? So, therefore, we should be doing the, the cosine rule. Now, the cosine rule, okay, and the reason it's the cosine rule is only one angle involved. So, what we're going to be doing is this, x minus 3, oops, squared, plus x minus 2, oops, x minus 2 squared, minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 2, uh, cos 120. Now, when you put cos 120 in your uh, calculator, you get minus a half. Okay, so the minus a half and the minus two are going to make plus one. So when I multiply all of that out, I get x squared equals, now then, this is going to be quite long, x squared minus six x plus nine. That's the first bracket there. That bit is, sorry, that bit is there. This bit here, I'm going to multiply out and get, uh, where am I, uh, plus x squared minus 4, oops, should be minus 4x, not plus 4, I said it and wrote a different thing, minus 4x plus 4, so that bit is the bit underlined in blue, and then uh, this yellow bit, all right, I will do all under here, okay, is going to be uh, plus x squared minus, sorry, yeah, minus 5x, yeah, no, that's right, minus 5x plus 6, and that's that bit there. Okay, simplify all that, uh, I get x uh, squared equals 3x squared minus 15x plus 19, and so therefore x is the square root of all that. Now, whilst that looks horrible, um, it'll actually turn out all right. Not that you possibly know that straight away. So, to work out the area of the rectangle, area equals, so it's going to be this, 3x squared minus 15x um, plus 19, times two lots of this. Ah, now do you see what's happening? 3x squared minus 2 and the square roots will cancel themselves out because you're squaring a square root and so it's just two times that this thing here. Two times this, all right, and your final answer is going to be uh, 6x squared minus 30x plus 38. And there you go. So actually, it turns out not to be too bad, actually. But it looks horrible all the way through until right at the end. Okay, but ultimately, remember the algebra is just numbers in disguise, as it were. So you should be able to just work through normally as if it was all numbers there. Right, and then out pops the answer, as it were.